Right, so it's a beautiful new electric Audi. Gentleman was doing somebody a favour. Um, put some diesel in, some cans in there because the diesel shortage um, in order to help somebody out. But unfortunately, one of them tipped on its side and spilled. So we're looking at the inside at the moment. Um, the spillage, what happens is it, it goes downwards and then it spreads from the bottom. So he wasn't quite aware of how bad it was but if I turn that little light on you can see right down there and you can see that in the pocket there uh, that you've got a residue there and obviously maybe some of it's come out of that vent but it's found its way down here and then onto the proofing and some of it's gone through the actual um, you know the carpet or the foam um, if I show you over here um, there's the interior parts been taken out there's some of the foam but some of the bits have been washed and I can tell you that the washing of them hasn't removed the problem um, we need a deodorant product that's designed to deal with petroleum which we do have but also the uh, in my experience these pieces of foam will need to be replaced uh, there's a couple of them down there on the floor and it's soaked into those so they're not too expensive. The most expensive bit is the boot carpet and we're going to see we might be able to save that. But if not, then it will need those new parts. And all of these parts here, all the metal work, will need to be decontaminated. And the smell has gone on to all the plastic and everything in the car as well as the glass. And that will need to be uh, decontaminated too. Albeit it's only an airborne smell at that point, it's not the liquid. So, um, we'll give you some progress on how it's going to go, but um, yeah, we've dealt with these problems before, but they're not always so straightforward. So, we've recommended that this gentleman calls his insurance company and just lets them know just in case they're needed later. So, it's like a bit of a backup. He's hoping to be able to afford to pay for it himself, but should there be something very expensive uh, to replace, then um, he can at least then call the insurance company and say, Look, I think. I'm going to need to make a claim. So we're getting on with it at the moment. Unfortunately, you can't smell it, which is, you know, I can tell you, I can smell the diesel whilst I'm making this film. So, you know, um, obviously uh, we don't do uh, YouTube footage with smells yet. <laughs> Luckily, in a lot of ways. So we've removed some of the back of the car now. And so as you can see, obviously we've got the majority of the parts out. And just to show you a few things, obviously the reason why it was smelling so badly, um, I don't know if you can see down here, but there's a run of fluid here. Uh, that's diesel. Um, if we look up on this underlay bit here, the sand deadening, we can see that there's signs of diesel under there as well. Um, the only problem is underneath here, if I lift this up, we can see that that's got diesel in it. So unfortunately, we're going to have to remove this. Um, and get that off and clean that as well because that's going to be a big issue um, other than that everything that's been stripped out we can see on the bottom of the underlay carpet it seems to have got here um, but I'm not too sure if it's got the foam but obviously it has got this bit here um, also on the the back piece which goes down the center uh, we can see that there's slight it's like a little bit of oily substance on there uh, so that's obviously uh, contaminated. Uh, this piece here obviously does smell, uh, but we can't see anything on there. Uh, this is the big speaker which we took out, the subwoofer. Um, and as we can see here, we've got residue in here. And obviously we've got obviously a diesel mark running down here into this pocket here as well. As well as obviously round here. Okay, we have an Audi e-tron uh, which had a diesel spill in it. Um, my colleagues just are currently doing the odour kill, um, so he's UVA fogged the car, he's irritating all the surfaces, including the glass and everything there, and then he's got to wipe it all down, and then what we're then going to do is we're going to shut it all up, and we're going to put a thermo fog in now um, with Kentucky bluegrass. Um, as you can see, this was where the spillage was, and um, the spillage of diesel was around this section here, and it filled up this pocket here with diesel. Um, so we've had to order some new parts because unfortunately as soon as the diesel hits it obviously you, you can't really save it and um, there's certain things you can save but unfortunately diesel is a very hard thing to get rid of um, so my colleagues just going through obviously the decontamination process at the moment 
and then what he's going to do is we're we're obviously going to carry on and then we will have to do it a second time once we do the thermo fogging okay right uh, <laughs> it's full, <laughs> filled up already <laughs> Well, so in case you're wondering what that's doing, uh, that, it's not really smoke, but it's light smoke, goes everywhere where you can't get, as well as where you can get to. So all the springs underneath the seats and in the ventilation and in the dashboard and, you know, everywhere really. It's not liquid per se, it's like a smoke, so it's not going to do any harm in there. But the terrible diesel smell that this car had even though it's an electric car, <laughs> a guy happens to be helping somebody out and put a jerry can in the back, you know, and um, unfortunately the diesel are spilt everywhere and so we've had to replace quite a lot of parts uh, because the diesel soaked on the carpet and so on and through to the spare wheel area. Uh, this is the finishing touches now, so um, yeah, I'm showing you, look, you can see the smoke move, it's quite interesting. Um, and uh, you know that doesn't just take the smell away it's there's lots of other things we've had to do as well as this smoke machine this is taking the smell from the surfaces that the smell's been on if that makes sense so the spillage was in the back but there won't be any evidence of spillage in the front but the smell from the back will have emitted itself onto those things a bit like if you've been in a pub where they used to smoke and then you've got the smell of smoke on you so what we're doing there is um, fogging the vehicle. It's a thermo fogger, in case anyone wants to know what that means. Yeah, it's obviously heated. 